Vita, you must be pretty pleased with that performance tonight. How have you sort of felt now that you've gotten in a groove of playing full 60 minutes here? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the uh, second game I play uh, 60 minutes, you know, uh, for sure feeling better and uh, getting getting better too. Uh, honestly, the, the guys play really well today, so they help me a lot. Do you feel, I mean, we talked to you when you got traded here to New Jersey, but that this is just one of the biggest opportunities that you've had in your career coming in here where there's that 1A, 1B kind of mentality? Yeah, I mean, uh, the trade was for me, you know, first time, so I don't know uh, what, uh, what what's that, you know, and then now I know, you know, like the guys is really good in the locker room, they take me, so I'm so happy for that. And then uh, it's not different. It's it's same hockey. <laughs> have they? Have you sort of felt that you know everyone around the room has been looking to that goaltending just because of the way things went last year? I know you weren't here, but do you feel that sense of pressure in a sense, or is that just normal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's normal, you know that. Uh, the pressure will be all the time, you know, like there is a black key Bernier and then it's, they are really good goalies, so that will be pressure always. It's uh, best league on the world, so the pressure is there for sure. And what do you sort of feel as we come down to the end of the preseason? Do you feel you need more repetitions or are you kind of ready at this point now to, to jump into a season? <laughs> you know, honestly, I feel I feel really good. Like I said, like I play two games, uh, 60 minutes and then uh, two periods. Mm -hmm. So. That uh, that get me back, you know, and then the practices too. So I feel I feel really good. Need a bit of a different opportunity for you tonight, playing in that center position. How did you sort of feel you handled that, and are, are you comfortable in that role? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely comfortable. I, I played most of my life at center. Um, it's different in this league, though. There is, um, you know, times tonight. I think a lot of my game has been. Areas like finishing checks and stuff, and sometimes as a winger, you're able to kind of get away with doing it, maybe behind the play. And there was one time earlier where I finished a check and I looked back and I was like, kind of, you know, didn't forget I was a centerman, but I'm like, you know, I gotta be more diligent here and you know pick my spots a little bit better because I got more responsibility now in the D zone. So um, I think as the game w went on, I got better and. By the end of it, I felt comfortable. It was fun. You're a guy who, over the last couple of years, you know, we've talked about how you've found what your role is. You play to your strengths. Um, when they put you in this position, where like, okay, we want to see you at center. What you can do at this league? What does that say to you? And and what type of encouragement is that for you? Take it as a positive. I think if they're willing to try you in different roles, I think um, it gives you confidence when they put you in areas on the ice where. Um, times are more important and you have more responsibility. Mm -hmm. So if that's playing center, I know in the face-off circle, that's something, uh, if I'm going to keep playing there, that, that I definitely need to work on, little things like that, but um, all positive. Got to ask what your thoughts on uh, VTech was tonight. Certainly dial <laughs> dialed in the only time anything sort of tried to get by him was with goaltender interference. <laughs> yeah, he was great, I think. Um, Times uh, for for the goalies, uh, you know, and, and everyone has has struggled in the last little bit. And it's so nice to come to camp here, and um, we've had a look at a number of goalies, four or five goalies, and I, you know, they've they've all looked great. So it's been great. I mean, as a mentality going into a season for guys who have been here, especially last year, and what you guys went through with your goaltending position, what type of like is there an air of relief in a way that you're seeing these healthy bodies in here? Yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> Most it's teams, okay to be honest about yeah, it. yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, you know, we want those guys healthy, and we want them playing, and um, they're such a huge part of our team. So, most teams at this time of the year are feeling pretty good about things, and, and um, they're pretty healthy. But um, as, these, as the season goes on, guys are going to have to find ways to battle through injuries, and our goalies are, are a huge part of our team. So, hopefully, uh, they can kind of snowball here. What do you like about the way you guys were defending, particularly at the end of the game there, um, knowing that you were hanging on to that one nothing lead? It was good. I think um, I'll let Lindy be the judge, but I feel like uh, as a team defensively, I know VTech definitely had to bail us out uh, maybe a handful of times, but um, I think we're going to have some good D-Zone clips on video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nate. <laughs> We can just talk a little bit about the difference this year, even though it's just pre-season, with the amount of depth that you're seeing in this team and maybe how that helps your game and really everybody's game to play where they're supposed to be playing. Yeah, well, you know, we made some additions, you know, in the off-season and, um, you know, I think we were lacking experience last year and I think that's the difference. You know, we have a different, uh, you know, voices in the locker room now. There's, uh, you know, more guys with more games and I think that's just make us stronger. For you, how are you feeling through this preseason, three preseason golds tonight, the only one tonight? How are you feeling? 
I'm feeling good. You know, I worked pretty hard, you know, during the summer, you know, to to come here and, and you know prove a point. Uh, I was excited. You know, kind of anger drive drive me. You know, through through the summer, and you know, hopefully, you know, we will kick out a season in the right step. And, and you know, but the all three games we played, you know, the team team played very well. And you know, when team plays well, you know, individual stands up. And I think uh, we we we've done a lot of good stuff today. You know, we could score definitely more goals than one. So, you know, I think we're pretty happy. You know, we'll watch the videos. You know, the few few hiccups what we did. You know, how we can correct it and come stronger. Did you feel unhappy with the way things went last year? Yeah. Very. And so for you, just to come in here with that same attitude that you were just talking about, it feels fresh? It does. You know, it's a lot easier, you know, to come a second year and, you know, know the environment a little bit. And um, like I said, you know, it was tough, you know, the last few seasons with the COVID and everything. Mm -hmm. So this was a finally, you know, a good time, you know, to get ready and, and, and do everything right way, you know, to, to prepare. And like, like I said, you know, it's not just about me. You know, I think the whole team, you know, after the season was was pretty pretty unhappy with how things went, and uh, we wanted to come stronger. You know, I think now is the time, you know, to to prove it. When you see goaltending performances like that of Vitek or the way McKenzie has been playing, what can that do? Even though it's just preseason play, going into a regular season, knowing that you know you do have two solid guys who are healthy. Yeah, they played you know tremendously well. It, it gives you a lot of you know confidence, and when you see you know guys are making these these extra saves, you know these saves would be what team needs, you know, to, to get lift up, and uh, they they both play very well. What gives you confidence that, that this year could be different? Well, it's you know, <laughs> I mean, we all want to be better, right? I mean, it's not guaranteed we're gonna be better. You know, it's the work ethic every every day you bring here, and uh, like I said, you know, with uh, the more guys here with bigger experience, you know, that work ethic's coming up, and there's different you know voices in the locker room who can who can correct stuff. So that's that's great news, and it's very positive for us and. Uh, is exciting. You know uh, Eric Halla from your time in Vegas, right? You played together briefly there. What do you think he brings to this team? What, what kind of assets does he bring? Well, no, he's been on the playoff teams. You know, I think he has a lot of games in the league, change different, you know, see different cultures in, in different teams, and I mean, you know, to. To, to to reach uh, NHL you know playoff final that, that's something you know so he's been through these you know difficult games where where everything you know matters and he he brought it here again so I mean there's more guys like that you know who, who come and uh, there you know you have to play a certain way you know with the lead you know when you want to you know catch the team with the other lead so I mean uh, it's great to have these guys who've been through the situations you know and have them on our side now Lindy mentioned the other night he's a hard player to play against as somebody who's played against him is that Accurate assessment of, of how he plays. Yeah, we fought together, you know. So uh, it's uh, it's something what he what he brings, you know, to his level. You know, he's a great two-way player. You know, battles hard. He's hard on guys. Uh, you know, he's you know has the right attitude on the ice. You know, it's not easy to play against. As a Slovakian player, do you find uh, a sense of pride seeing all these Slovakians being drafted now? Nemec, uh, first overall pick as well. Like you. When you're watching that over the summer, you feel prideful. Like that's the kind of things that you helped establish as, as a, you know, growing that that program as a as a younger player. And now here you are, uh, these guys are getting drafted and possibly playing with you. Yeah, you know, we were together at the world, you know, and I got the chance to see them to play, and I was pleasantly surprised. You know, they they play very mature hockey. You know, they were listening. They they wanted to get better. And next thing you know, you know, Slavi and uh, Shimon are number one and two. So I was extremely proud of them. You know, I'm very happy to see Shimon here and uh, you know try to make it as more as much comfortable for him, you know, as possible. And you know, I think so far he's feeling very welcome. And um, you know, now it's up to him, you know, to show what he can do on the ice. Is he Linda, your initial thoughts of the game when you just sort of go over it briefly, how you felt your team handled themselves, especially defending against a one nothing scoreline for most of the game. Uh, I like the way we defended. Uh, got back to, you know, breaking the puck out pretty efficiently, not giving up a lot of shots, not giving a lot of chances. Uh, yeah, it looked like the first three games. Uh, you know, the, the third and fourth, fourth, I mean, the uh, second and third period the other night were better, but the first period was something that we wanted to put behind us. What have you liked about the way VTech has carried himself with this opportunity in front of him? You know what, he's made the big save at a key time in the game. Uh, you know, probably look at the two or three saves. He didn't, uh, didn't have a lot, uh, but he made, he made the breakaway save on the mistake where we let the guy get in behind us. 
Uh, the play in the second period when, you know, bad change and the guy was all alone, he just showed really good composure. And there was a couple of tip plays that, you know, he was able to track the puck and make the save. And, um, you know, you get those saves. Um, gives you a, great, a really good chance to win. Overall, you know, you, you know you're, he's not going to save everything all season long. But when you're, whether you're a player on the ice watching that type of performance, one of the regulars who weren't playing tonight watching that, how can it sort of change a mentality or maybe alleviate something going into this season? Well, you know, I think we're, we're working hard on our, our play away from the puck. I think everybody can, can tell that. And the, the, the shots have gone way down. I think even if you look at the shots in the first period tonight, 6-6, six, six, um, you know, our defensive game, we've gotten pretty good order for now. Uh, you know, that lineup that they had, you know, wasn't a strong lineup. Uh, so, you know, you take it for what it is. Uh, he still gave us those saves. Um, our structure was good. And I, I just felt we, we probably left six or seven goals out there. We just missed too many good chances. Having Alex Holtz play on a line that didn't involve Jack Hughes, was that something that was intentional to see how maybe he plays with other players of different types of talent? Yeah, just to look at, uh, I mean, sometimes a, you know, a player will fit better with somebody else. Uh, um, you know, Dawson has good success at uh, finding guys uh, below the goal line. I think he hit the Holtz a couple times. So, you know, his chances were there again tonight. He had uh, a couple of really good opportunities. Uh, and it's just to look at uh, with a couple different players. What do coaches love the most about having a player like Eric Howla on their team? Well, he gives us really good hard compete. I think he's a veteran player that that knows that you know wall play and late in games and last five minutes the importance of all the little things. Pucks get in deep, pucks get out, uh, good changes, uh, just stuff you learn along the way. What's your assessment of Andreas Janssen so far? Uh, he's battling battling hard um, to. You know, prove he, he should have an opportunity to, to make this team. Um, I think inside the games, he's, he's had some struggles. There's been opportunities that have gone by him. Um, but trying to give him every opportunity to find his game. When you look at you know, the missed opportunity tonight, passes away uh, on a breakaway, what was your reaction to that? <laughs> well... The reaction is, is always, you know, something better could have happened out of that. Nate at center there. Um, when I was talking to him, he said, it's been a while he's, since he's played that position and felt that maybe he got a little more into the groove um, in terms of his coverage towards the end of the game. What did you sort of see, and what were you hoping for him in that position that you haven't really put him in that much? No, I... It, Put him in a tough, I put him in a tough situation, obviously. He hasn't played. I uh, had a conversation with him when the last time he had played, and uh, it's been a while. But I like the versatility of different players going in the middle or even center going out and playing on the wing. You know, you take a look at what Mercer did. And so I wanted to see what that option would look like. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you, Lindy.